Hello and thank you for joining us on Politics Today on Channels Television. I'm Shane Wakimbale. It's been a very eventful week in the world of politics. Well, after almost a week of deliberation and intense politicking, at last, beating the Thursday deadline, the APC agrees on Professor Yemi Oshibajo as a running mate to General Muhammad Buhari. Who is Yemi Oshibajo and what dynamics does he bring into the game? That's one of our focus on the program today. And the aftermath of the PDP National Assembly and Governorship primaries is generating more controversy just as it is few weeks to the poll. Thank you for joining us on the program. Well, it appears uh, the presidential race has begun on a large scale. Uh, we saw a fundraising event at the Aso Villa for President Gulag Jonathan campaign. Before that day, at the Sheraton Hotel in Lagos, there was a media presentation of Gulag Jonathan where the achievement of his administration was highlighted. You may like to listen again to a few of those things said by the aide to the President on Public Affairs, Dr. Doyi Okupe. Jonathan keeps quiet. He's resilient. He stopped it, careful, focused, strong, and still does not talk unnecessarily so that Nigeria can remain one. That is what I meant when I said Jonathan bears our body and is bearing it well. Somehow, somehow, this good luck, Jonathan, is the very best that we have seen since 1960. this nation because of hatred for one man. If a man comes from a minority area, is it an offense? If their oil is good enough to provide comfort for Nigeria, why is it an abomination that they should sit at the head of the country? Why? We will not rest and we will not have peace until there's equity in this country. The returning of Jonathan in 2015 will have done equity and justice to this nation. Well, the People's Democratic Party has seen so many controversies in the past days, most of which are outcome of the primaries held. Members are aggrieved. Some have even gone to court to seek redress, while others have taken to the streets in protest. What is the implication of these for the party ahead of the 2015 general elections? Again, when the APC announced uh, Buhari's running mate, the PDP criticized the the time that it took the party, the opposition party, to agree on a vice presidential candidate. Well, I have joining me from our Abuja studio, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Chief Olisa Metu, to discuss these and some more. But we'll go on a short break, and when we return, Chief Metu will be joining me on the program. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us here on the program. Well, we've been talking about the issues that have been trailing the PDP primaries across the country. Well, let me give you an idea of some of, uh, from each of the states. From Kwara states, there still seems to be some form of stalemate in what is the outcome of the process in Kwara state. Because uh, there's been people who have taken to the street who are grieved on the outcome of the process. Some are saying that there's been some form of, there were plans to do a parallel primary in Kuala State, and you can see there people are taken to the streets to protest the outcome of uh, the result. Not only in Kuala State, in Imo State, also we can, uh, we see similar situation where people take to the street to protest the outcome of a primary, the governorship primary and also the National Assembly primary. For Imo State, it's especially the issue of the governorship primary and people are asking questions on the process. Uh, and again, some have said that they've gone to the national body in Abuja 
to seek redress on this same matter. What of Lagos? Lagos State, um, well, we didn't see people go to the street, but one of the candidates, uh, one of the aspirants had gone to court to seek redress. That's uh, Senator Musili Obanikoro. He sued the party. He said that he has gone to seek redress, but the party has not responded to his complaints. And so far, he's gone to court to address this particular matter. Just uh, close by in the same southwest region, in Ogun State, also cases of uh, the outcome of the process has gone to court, where a faction or in the party are uh, challenging the right and the integrity of a particular faction that conducted the primaries. And also people had gone to the headquarters, taken to the street to ask what exactly is the situation of things in terms of the primary in the state. In Ogun State, uh, the, the, the ruling came out to say that the die of uh, faction should be recognized as a faction that held the particular uh, primary. And to discuss these issues, I have uh, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Chief Olisa Metu. He joins us now from our Abuja studio. Thank you so much for joining us, Chief Metu, at this time. Let me start by asking you, virtually in uh, almost every state of the Federation where governorship primaries held, there were as complaints and controversies. What really is the matter, considering the fact that we are approaching the poll and we're seeing this kind of situation? Well, uh, thank you, Shane. You call it control, the controversies and other things. But for us, we are witnessing undue interest uh, for members of the party to ensure that they fly the flag of the party. Please recall that early late last year, people have predicted that there will be crisis in GDP at the application and that we are going down. But compare that to what you are witnessing today. Members of the PDP, members of Nigeria, Nigerians all over, are very much interested in flying the flag of the PDP. There is so much interest. Never before in the history of our party have we our members insist, struggle, uh, to, to be the candidates of the PDP. What it goes to show is that we remain the permanent party in Nigerian politics. Well, we are happy about it. But while we are happy about it, we insist that this uh, apparent must play according to the rules, according to the provisions of our constitution, and in accordance with the guidelines of the party. As long as that is done, we have no problem. But for them to go on the street, for them to demonstrate, for them to insist that their candidate will win is all part of democracy, is all part of politics. It, it, as, it, it, so long as we observe internal democracy and there is fairness and there is equity in the application of the rules of our guidelines. That's all. There's no problem about it. it it's only a dead person, a party that you have a godfather. That would keep the candidates, that you don't have people that are struggling. They believe that there's independence. They believe that they can agitate. They believe that they can struggle and that they will be heard. But if they for if they for any reason thought that we are draconian or that we do not have uh, the internal democracy, they will not bother themselves, they'll leave their houses and they will not be demonstrating and they will not be agitating. That is the truth. 